this is Lola Lee T. Hey, everybody. As we all know, reality star Natalie Nunn and Roly Poly have been beefing on Instagram Live. I posted what Roly Poly had to say yesterday. So according to Roly, she said all of this is happening because she took a picture with a fan in front of the food stamp office. Then Natalie allegedly took the picture and posted it on social media. Then she went on live and started talking about people that are low income, allegedly. And according to Roly, well, Roly is very upset at Natalie right now. So check out Natalie's Instagram live and let me know your thoughts. Hi guys. So I wanted to go live to address the shenanigans that just happened on the internet. Um, now, I will say that I'm going to allow everyone to get in the live before I get to going. Um, it's already been a long morning. Um, but yes, so I wanted to go live because there was just um, a whole internet frenzy. I was getting about a hundred posts, um, tags of uh, one of my cast members who talks a lot of shit all day long because she has a lot of time on her hands um, about Natalie and what I'm doing. And I just wanted to address the fact that, you know, I do not have any ill will towards anybody. But what issue I have is when a woman comes at me for being a hardworking mom and always out hustling, meaning working on five to six different TV shows to provide for my family. Um, you know, all the promotion stuff that I have to do every weekend when I'm traveling to provide for my family, hosting events to provide for my family. For a woman to go to my reunion stage and say, go home, you're never at home with your fucking kid, go home and be a mom. First of all, I'm at home with my daughter all the time, okay? I provide for my kid. So what we're not going to do is knock hardworking mothers out there that have to go out and provide for their kids. And we don't get assistant living. We don't qualify for food stamps. And the reason I said what I said this morning to Roly is because you have the same opportunity that I have, the same opportunity that, you know, people have when they're on TV to make something out of a situation. And one thing that you're not going to do is, uh, is knock a mother like me who does everything that she can to provide for my family with an honest living now i saw your post that you posted up first you posted up a post this morning that every single person in america wanted to tag me or show me that you were caught at the food stamp place first and foremost i have no problem with women out there who need to get assistance um, for their kids or assistance for a living um you know, uh, I don't, I, that, that doesn't bother me. I think, you know, that that's important. If, if our country has that, um, option for people to get help, um, you know, assistance, then, then I'm all for it. But in that same breath, you're not going to knock a mother who doesn't get assistance, doesn't get assistance. Food stamps is what you posted. You said a crackhead fiend and her boyfriend took a picture of me at the food stamp place yesterday. I hope I don't get caught up. I love free food. Okay, cool. But over here, the food ain't free. You understand what I'm saying? And you were the same woman screaming at the reunion that I need to go home and, and be with my kid and that bitch. I work really motherfucking hard. I work really motherfucking hard. My overhead is something that you probably could not even fucking fathom okay my overhead my overhead okay is some shit you probably wouldn't even fucking understand it wouldn't even make sense so what i'm trying to say is because today's been a great morning matter of fact i'm about to go get my juices 
yeah, I gotta pay for my juices. I gotta go into my Fendi bag and I gotta pay out of my pocket, my hard working money. I gotta go pay for my breakfast right now. Ain't that a bitch, jeez. Nope, ain't shit free over here. So what I'm basically saying is I understand that there are people in America who need assistance and that our country provides an ama amazing programs because in other countries, I've traveled a lot of places, they don't, they don't have these same things. But someone said what's on the side of my lip? Probably Journey's, um, I was eating some of her breakfast, <laughs> um, which I just dropped Journey off at school. Um, but um, so basically what I'm trying to say is the, um, the post that I said about Roly wasn't intentionally trying to come for anybody. What I was saying was, is what I was saying was, is that I don't appreciate a woman telling me that I need to go home and be with my child because I work. Every weekend when I'm out with Zeus and I'm hosting events, like this week coming up, I have to travel again. Unfortunately, I get to be home for, I think this is gonna be 10 days in a row. That's amazing. I get to be home for 10 days in a row. I love that. Absolutely love being at home. I absolutely love being at home. Um, so I get to be at home for 10 days in a row and then I gotta go to Fashion Week in New York City. And mind you, I'm not, on this particular show that Zeus is filming right now, but I am executive producing the show right now. So I have to be somewhat around and there. And so we're hitting New York City where I'm getting paid to be. I'm getting off my, my, my ass. I'm not lazy, never been lazy. Okay. I respect hardworking women. That's that. And I'm going to be, I'm going to say it loud and clear, whether you guys like it or not, I respect more so than ever hardworking women who get the up there okay now i'm gonna say it nicely but i also said it just how i said it but i'm gonna say it one more time okay i respect women who get the fuck off their ass all right that's what the f respect i respect the woman because that's the type of mother i had who worked three jobs graveyards Daytime was a school bus driver so that she could get up with me and my brother and take us to school. Worked at the hospital graveyards at night. Me and my brother used to have to get on the Sam trams, take the train to go to soccer practice, football practice. That's what I respect. A woman who works hard. Okay? So for her, roly poly, to sit on my stage and say, oh, go home and be a mom. You're never at home. Bitch, I'm always at home. I just dropped my daughter off at her private, her private school that she goes to. Yeah, yeah. Private school that I gotta pay for every fucking month. Yeah, yeah. With extra tutors after school. Yeah. With private swim class three times a week. Yeah. With private gymnastics once a week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the fuck's paying for that? Not the assistant living. Nah, bitch. I pay for that shit. I work my ass off. So then for you to go post on your page, oh yeah, they caught me at the food stamp place. Matter of fact, we're gonna post we're gonna show you what you posted first. You said, and I'm gonna stop the comments so we can read it all together. Turn comments off. Rolly said, yep, that was some picking up. That was I think she tried to say that was me. Yep, that was me picking up food stamps card. I don't give a fuck. Free is free <clears throat> until they find out my ass work because of the dope fiend and her boyfriend done took the picture of me. Thanks a lot now. What else does it say over here? Hold on. It says, see this how they going to get me caught for food stamp fraud. But yeah, I needed my food. I don't give a fuck. Free is free. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing that. The only thing I would, I came on live to address this beautiful morning, this beautiful throwback Thursday morning, is the simple fact that you're not about to knock. See, this, see, people love the underdogs, okay? They love the underdogs. They love a sad story. And that's cool. You don't think I've been in this industry for 15 years and I don't know that? Number one, I don't come from money. Number two, my mother was a single mother growing up. She worked three fucking jobs, okay? Three. 
She had a daycare. She worked for the school bus. Uh, used to drive me to school on a school bus with me and my brother, picking up all the kids to take us to school. She and worked at the uh, hospital at night, graveyard shifts. Three fucking jobs my entire life growing up. So you're not going to knock a mother who works her fucking ass off to provide the best for their kid. You're not going to do it. You're just not. So whether or not you guys like to hear from Natalie Nunn, the horse's mouth, you have the big chin, the, oh, you be outside prostituting. Prostituting where? Where? I just think sometimes you bitches are mad because I'm married and you're not. That's what I think you're mad about. I think y'all bitches that be coming for me from my shows or whoever be mad is mad because I got my baby daddy and my husband, the same, you know, at home and I could be outside making some fucking money. Yeah, that's what you're mad about. That's what y'all be mad about. Because every time it comes down to it, it's these two things. You're a whore. How? How? Where? You want to provide for other people like Curtis. What are you talking about? Matter of fact, you guys don't even know what's going on. Mind you, Roly, I asked you, because I heard your music right before the show was going to air, if that you wanted me to work with you, if you wanted me to manage you. I said I was going to manage one person from each one of my shows, from Bad Boys and Baddies. You, you couldn't get out your motherfucking feelings and you slipped up. You were so mad that this was my show. You, you bitches be so mad like you put in 15 years in this game. You didn't. You didn't. You fucking didn't. So mind you, don't worry about who I'm managing over here. Don't worry about what the next big star, who it's going to be. Because, you know, I work hard. I don't mind helping other people get the fuck on. Okay? Let's see. New York City. DJ Sus1. What does it say? We got a whole bunch of radio stuff coming up. Oh, what's that show? Um, It's called On the Radar Radio Show. Yeah, I get my, I can get my artists, I can get my people on whatever. I can pull up to New York City and get my people on radio shows, Power 105, DJ Self, DJ Sus. You should have shut your fucking fat fucking mouth, bitch. That's what you should have did. You should have played it smart. See, at the end of the day, all you hating ass bitches, you keep on hating and it's doing absolutely nothing. That's what I keep trying to tell y'all. Y'all run your mouths and it does nothing for you. Nothing. But guess where? Guess where you were yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Right. Exactly. There's nothing for you. That shit is funny. Look at daddy's new car. Jacob, I love your new car. I can't wait to get the G-Wagon. Hard work. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good, I want to get some juices, health as well, you know, for the purpose. Let me get a two for, no, let me get a um, two, I'm going to get four juices today. Let me get, you know, got to pay for things around here. Let me get a greens two, the apple, a greens three, and um, let me get a, a vanilla almond and a chocolate almond. And a wellness shot. Just a wellness shot. So, guys. We're Natalie. Yes. Just say that you're just a base member. That's cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. But I get I still get my points and stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay, that's good. A little bit of a price difference. That's fine. That's fine. The price difference. Yeah. People work hard around here, you know? There you go. Um, a little bag, yeah. You know what I mean, guys? Yeah. Do you want me to just use my card? No, no, I got you. Are you sure? I can use my card if you don't have change for All right. Oh, let me turn the comments back on. So basically, in a nutshell, guys, all I was trying to say is don't knock a hardworking mom for having to work hard. You understand what I'm saying? Don't work hard. Don't knock. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta work. And that's it. Okay? Yeah. And I had a problem with that. I had a really big problem with what Rolly had to say. 
We all had the same opportunity. We all got on the same show. Okay? I don't care if you don't think I'm humble. I work hard. Thank you. Yeah, can I get it back? I don't even see. Thank you, beautiful. Have a good day, okay? It's called working hard around here, guys. It's called working fucking hard. It's called team no sleep. It's called I, I sacrifice a lot. Yeah, I sacrifice a lot. I don't get to just sit at home on my ass. You feel me? I don't have nobody I can fall back on to pay my motherfucking bills. I don't. Period. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I got a problem. A real big fucking problem. A real big fucking problem when people try to talk shit about hardworking mothers. I have a problem with it. Whether you like it or not. Whether you all want to hear it or not. I have no problem. I could give two fucking shits. Who gets food stamps or who gets what? I don't care. I pay my taxes every year. That's just how it goes. But at the end of the day, what I have a problem with is the same bitch who's on assistant living talking about a mother who works all fucking year long, nonstop. I miss a lot of shit. I sacrifice a lot of shit. I have, and, and at the end of the day, I do whatever I got to do to provide a good, honest living for my daughter and my family. Okay? Period. So that's that. And that's that. But you're going to see at the reunion for Batty South, this bitch sat on the stage and repeatedly said, go home. You're never at home with your daughter. Because, bitch, I'm not on my fucking lazy fat ass eating snack meals all fucking year long. I'm outside working and hustling so that I can provide the best of the best for everybody in my fucking family. Yeah. 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 And I'm finna flex on that because that's a hard fucking flex. Period. It's a hard flex. Bitch getting money. Working. I don't know too many bitches doing what the fuck I'm doing. Stupid ass bitch. And today is a great day. Here in the beautiful suburbs. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm same bitch who be online talking shit. Same bitch who be online who, who originally wanted me to manage her. Bitch, I could have took your shit and blew you the fuck up. You over here worried about what I'm doing with one of the bad boys while I'm trying to hustle and work for to make another superstar. Man, y'all bitches are stupid, delusional. If you think, if you think after 15 years in this industry, I don't know the game and have the game on lock, I'm too smart. I'm too smart. I'm too smart. I'm literally too smart. This is why Oxygen and WeTV and a lot of these net uh, networks were afraid to work with me because I was too smart, way too smart. Contracts, I could redline my own shit to be real with you. I could look right at the deal and be like, mm, here's a loophole. Let's fix this. Okay? Hence why I'm still getting money right now from Bad Girls Club. You know that deal that they just did with Tubi? Ooh, that was a beautiful deal. Thank you, Bina Murray. Thank you, Oxygen. See, some of these girls just didn't know anything about licensing. It's called picking up a book. Reading is fundamental. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That licensing deal was, oh, so beautiful. Now, listen, guys. I'm really not going to play these bad mom games. Nowhere in this live have I said, this V8 Range Rover Sport, Jacob, this is a fun little car, honey. I'm jealous. Just waiting for my motherfucking AMG to get here, but this little car is fun. Pushing P. You pushing P, baby. <laughs> Ah, listen. Oh, my husband doesn't want me. Listen, all of these things that you guys say, you guys are trolls on the internet. Your job is to troll. And your job is to keep that live number up, too. So, I'm not mad at anything that any of you guys have to say. 
what I'm saying is, I bet someone says slow down. Says, I barely pushed the thing. It's like, Vroom. like, look, I barely pushed it. The light just turned green. It's like so fast. <laughs> like what? <laughs> no. So listen. Someone said not pushing P. Listen, this is what I'm basically trying to say. I respect hardworking women. Don't let anybody knock you guys for, you know, don't try to let anybody give you a guilt trip for providing for your kids and your family. You know, that's not cool. And the reason I took my post down that what I said in this live is because I'm not knocking anybody who has to get food stamps. But what you're not going to do is knock a bitch like me who goes out there and pays money, works hard and pays money. I don't get assistant living, but you had a lot to say on that stage about me being a hardworking mother. So I'm addressing you now. I don't care what you put in your story. I don't give a fuck what you say. Nothing matters. Doesn't matter. Nothing's going to nothing's happening over here. But me working and making money. Doesn't that make you bitches mad? Ah, oh, I fucking hate me too, I swear. It's like she's too smart. She keeps winning. She's a hard worker. She's just it's so fucking irritating to you, bum ass bitches. I get it. It's irritating. I understand. So, you know, at the end of the day, my uh, women out there, attention woman out there, it's okay to provide a nice beautiful life for your kids and your family. It's okay to work. It's okay to go to work. So I know sometimes moms get that guilt trip like, oh, I'm going to miss her first like something or I'm not going to be able to make swim class this Monday. Every Monday that you can make swim class, enjoy the moment. Every mon every Friday when you can make gymnastics, enjoy that gymnastics day or that pizza Friday nights or those holidays where you get to rent out the whole gingerbread house in San Francisco at the fucking ward off Astoria. Enjoy those moments. Do you understand? Enjoy them. Okay. Because yes, kids grow up very fast. And yes, you want to be that mom that could be there at all the PTA meetings. And you want to be that mom that just sits on her fat ass all day and smokes $60 worth of weed up every few hours. I get it, but I'm not that mom. Okay. I'm not that mom. And I'm a mom that is outside working. And no, I'm not prostituting. Um, no, I don't escort. No, I don't. I have a lot of businesses all over the world. Um, I have a lot of people who I rub shoulders with that are billionaires, that are that are um, business um, people who invest in companies for me, who invest in things. Um, so let's just let's just be mindful, right? Let's just be mindful of the mothers that actually work hard. OK, and the, um, you know, the moms that really put their best foot forward and go after everything that they can for their kids. And um, and that's it. That's really all I wanted to address, because I just really feel like, you know, I, I sacrifice um, a lot. I, I get to, I miss some things, but then I'm there for a lot of big things. Um, but I got to do what I got to do. You know, that's life. Life is about providing um, and, and making money. I don't, I don't have any desire to sit at, on my ass. I'm up at seven o'clock in the morning in my office every day when I'm home. If I'm not home, I'm still up wherever I'm at, whether it's trying to get a little workout in, whether it's trying to, to, to get to the bag. You guys love that. Get to the bag. Yeah. Like don't miss your flight, get to the airport on time so you can get to the next destination to pick up more bags, you know? I don't think I've ever missed a flight in my whole career. Now, some of you guys are new to following me, but I mean, at one point when I used to take bookings, it used to be like five days a week, city to city to city to city. This was before journey, but I never missed a flight. I never missed a, I'm fucking swept clean every fucking city, picked up my back end money everywhere. So, I don't want Rolly to sell me any food stamps. Guys, I think I'm okay over here. Um, all I was trying to say is I'm not mad whoever has to get food stamps. I'm not mad if Rolly needs to get food stamps. Just don't talk about a mother who doesn't need to get food stamps because she's outside working hard. Too hard. Very hard. And so that's all. It's, not, it's nothing. I'm not, 
<laughs> it ain't a problem. Ain't nobody mad. How can I be mad? What is there for me to be mad about? Tell me. Nothing. Okay? So that 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 whole like thing this morning, we're gonna knock it off. Hey, sun kiss Frenchies. So we're gonna knock it off. I don't care who's gonna die. She's never anywhere where I am unless I'm paying her to be there. How about that? Uh, she's never anywhere I am. Someone said she'll dog walk you. Scotty said I want food stamp shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want food stamps, but I do work really hard. But I like that. There's, I guess there's just different people in life. Like I like working really hard. So that's all. I like working really hard. I, I, I don't, I don't, you know sit on my ass every day I, I don't even i i wouldn't even desire to do that i know some people like to stay at home and just you know sit on i don't even desire to do that mind you um my eye was perfectly fine i let you guys run with that so that you guys can think you're gonna get something good sure um but um listen guys if you're in the New York City area, Fashion Week is this week coming up. The Zeus Network will be outside. Um, myself and some of the others will be walking in the um, Dan's Leather fashion show. Dan's Leather is one of the biggest furs and leather company out of New York City. They provide for everyone, all the biggest everyones. And we're going to be walking in the fashion show. And then I have some of my talent doing interviews at Power 105, on the radar, the rap um, segment at Power. It's going to be a fun week in New York City, you know? Some exposure. I'm hosting a club in Connecticut on Saturday. The Zeus Network, we're all going to be up there. It's going to be super fun. Um... And it's going to be lit. Okay. We working over here. Dan's leather. Yes. My cheeks are plump. Chill on the needles. No. I'm just eating. I'm just eating. Ain't no needles. I'm just eating, guys. <laughs> um... Hey, you. Hi, buddy rock. Connecticut, baby. Morgan Britt is in here. Hi, Morgan from Bad Girls. Um, so basically, yeah, the guys, that was my whole little rant this morning. I'm just really tired of being like, you know, the hardworking, uh, you know, the hardworking person kind of gets over overshadowed by the underdog. It's like, oh, so sad. Like, no, get up because everybody had the same opportunity. Everybody had the same. It's like, you know, the same the same opportunity. The <clears throat> Um, we're all on the same show right now. We have the hottest show out in America. There is no reason why everybody shouldn't be sweet cleaning. Everybody shouldn't be hosting events. Everyone shouldn't be responding to their emails for bookings. Um, everybody shouldn't be trying to, you know, not be doing anything. It's like, we're literally the talk of every fucking city right now. That is season two. Batty South is the talk of the whole United States. Literally everybody's watching our show because the numbers do not lie. So I don't understand how you're going to sit here and talk about me being outside hustling and providing for my family while you sit on your ass. It's because you're lazy. It's just because you're lazy. It's okay. There's a lot of lazy people in the world. But don't talk about me being outside doing what I got to do to provide for my family and make money. But you just want to sit over there and, and smoke $60. What are they called? $60 dime? No, that is a dime bag? Yeah. $60 bags of weed all day long also i heard you've been running your mouth to some dj or some uh, no excuse me, not dj i heard you've been running your mouth in La las vegas to some club uh promoter and it got back over here i just don't understand why y'all bitches have so much time that's what i'm saying you're not doing any you're not doing shit 
I literally just got a call that it's just, it's just nonstop running your mouths. Like you should be too booked and busy to be worried about whatever the next bitch is doing. It's weird. It's so fucking weird to me. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. But I have about 30 lash orders that need to go out today. And I don't have another second to even be on this live. Um, I want to say shout out to all the fans. I want to say shout out to all the Yeah, on our set while we were filming. While I was getting paid to be there. Not on my everyday, sitting at my house on the couch. No, that's not what's going on over here. Too busy. Too busy. Too busy. Yeah, she would have money if she wasn't buying weed all day. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. I give a fuck what these bitches are doing. I don't care. I know I got overhead every month. Overhead. And ain't not one bill not getting paid. All the bills get paid every month. On time. I make sure of it. By getting off my ass and hustling. By working. By going after whatever the fuck I gotta do to work. You know? Anyways, guys. So, shout out to everybody who's watching Baddies South. Thank you, guys. Um, we are going to be holding a baddies season three auditions very, very, very soon. So make sure you're watching, um, on the ox, I mean, on the, um, Zeus pages, on my pages, on all the pages we're going to announce, we're going to announce, um, the baddies season three auditions very soon. Bad boys is coming. Baby mamas of LA is coming. And Baddies Season 3 is coming. So we have a lot of stuff to still do in the last quarter of the year. We have a couple months left. And all of this shit, we're, we're, we're rocking and rolling over here. Zeus is pumping out shows. We're filming a show right now that I'm working on. Um, um, that I'm, I'm a part of, but I'm not on it. Um, and... Um, we So when we drop this audition for Season 3... The auditions, I need y'all to all y'all bad girls to come pull up because I am looking for some new bad girls. Okay. Um, so I need you guys to be ready to go. All right. Um, baby mamas of LA. Yep. Baby mamas of LA, baddies season three and bad boy season two, Houston. Okay. Um, Someone said, when is the reunion? We just filmed the reunion last week. So a week ago, we already filmed it. It's coming. Um, I think we have like one, I don't know what episode we're on for baddies. I've been super busy, but we have like one or two more episodes left or maybe one episode left of baddies, two episodes left of baddies. I'm not sure. And we have the reunion. It's about to be going crazy. But I am looking for new baddies. And when we do the auditions, we're going to film it just like we did for Bad Boys Season 2. Also, I have not casted the boys for Season 2 yet. Please stay tuned. Um, I'm, I'm, st I'm working on it. I've been working on it all week. This week, um, I've been working on it for a while. But I've been working on it since Miami, when I was in Miami, for Bobby's show. But we are getting, we're gearing up for Baddies Season 3. We're gearing up for Bad Boys. Gearing up for Baby Mamas. And, um... And just when we drop the uh, auditions um, location and where it's going to be, I need you guys to come out because I'm I, I'm I'm looking for people. Like it's we do not have the cast, the bad boys um, of Houston auditions. We are still casting from the Houston auditions as well. So just so you know, we have not we have not picked the cast yet. We are working on that. We've been working on it. And um, the Bad Boys of Houston will be coming soon as well. Okay? Um, and let's talk about, let's talk about Hubby, how he was out last night. Now, y'all know Jacob is such a, like, laid-back, chill husband. He went to the event. It was called NBA, no, 2K, NBA 2K23. <laughs> Some gay, I don't know. He went last night, and look who he ran into. Chris Sean was there. 
<laughs> I was like, hey, y'all having a ball. He ran into everyone. He ran into Too Short. Oops. He ran into Too Short. Everybody was there. But I guess, like, it's some video game. Look at how cute. Oh, uh, honey, I, oh, so 2K. What's it called? 2K23? I thought it was NBA. I don't fucking know. But I don't do the video. I don't know anything about NBA video games. I don't know. But, um, he ran into everyone last night. He had so much fun. The husband she didn't know about. So that's so funny. Let's talk about that really quick. When I went live with Krishan, that was only like my second time ever really talking to Krishan. So I had met with Krishan, picked her up to bring her to the Zeus office for a meeting with the Zeus team about baddies south. And then we went live like a couple days later. But before that, I don't, I never like knew Krishan. I didn't know her. I never spoke to her. So, you know, I'm a lot older than Krishan, respectfully. Um, like, I'm older than her. I don't care. Like, I'm an 80s baby. And, um, which I don't, I, you guys could say I'm old. I don't care. I'm old. But Krishan is a lot younger than me. So, she, I think, what I asked her the other day when we got on the private jet. I was like, Krishan, oh, they asked us for our IDs while we were boarding the jet. And she said she was 2000. She said she was 2000. Yeah, she's 22. That Like, we're not even in the same, like, age group, like, of friends or anything, which I love. Like, she's like a little sis in a way. But, yes, she, so the whole live where people are like, oh, Krishan didn't even know you're married. I didn't expect her to know very much about me. I'm literally old enough to be her mother. Really, truly, honestly. But shout out to Krishan. She's filming her shit right now. She's doing her thing. I'm super proud of her. Um, you know, she's, she's, she's doing her thing and that's what it's about. But, um, yeah, I, um, thought it was funny because, um, let me park over here. I thought it was funny because everyone keeps having this viral video going around. Like she didn't even know you're married. Krishan is 22 years old. <laughs> I don't know anything. I don't know. I didn't know Krishan came from a family of a I don't know much about Krishan. We never really knew each other until like recently. So, no, she didn't know I had a kid. She didn't know I was married. I had only been around her one time before that. Like, y'all got to chill. Y'all like to make things like a big thing when it comes to me. Like, it's always like, you know, like, oh, look, evidence. I really think this is where I might have went wrong in my career. And that I think where I went wrong in my career is if I had my own show, you guys would have been able to tap more into my life. I think that's the thing. I think the thing is, is that you guys only got to see me a part of ensemble cast. You never get to see the Natalie who, you know, you don't get to see anything. So your minds, because you guys have been tapped in and following me since I was like Krishan's age, 23 years old. I think you guys at this point are like, you just make things up about me in your head. Like you'll just try to like, you'll run with whatever story people say or whatever people, you know, cause you don't ever really, you've never had cameras in my home. Think about that. Y'all been watching me on TV for 15 years, damn near. And you don't get to see shit in my real life. And I actually am so happy that I never did that. Cause I think once you allow that, that could make or break a longevity of a career. Your minds are still going a mile a minute about the real Natalie Nunn, like the real Natalie Nunn. What does she do when she's overseas? <sighs> what kind of mom is she? How was her and Jacob's marriage? Like, you hear guys' minds go like a mile a minute because you don't know. Like you don't really know the Natalie Nunn that you want to know. And that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> See, like you're gay. Natalie, your husband's gay and you're an escort. Sure. 
See, that's what your mind. See, and that's why you're in my lives. That's why you guys follow everything I'm doing. That's why you leave comments under everything you can. My husband's not gay. We don't we don't have problems with gay people. We we have everybody around us. My husband is not gay. I'm not an escort. But believe whatever you want to believe. It's amazing that you guys still are tapping in with me 15 years later. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. Like, I'm doing a hell of a good job. And so, but I get it. It's because you guys really never got that. And that's all ultimately my fault and Oxygen's fault. And funny thing is yesterday I was going through my folders in my, in my office and I found my I Run LA contract from Oxygen, the 30 page contract deal that they, they gave me to have my own show. And I never signed the deal. I never signed the deal for a lot of reasons, for a lot of reasons. And I think if I would have gave you guys that back then and shows would have kept going on and more and more and family, they want your family, they want you this, they want your that in there. It would have been, it would have been a lot more. And it would have been, you know, whole nother story. This, my career would be in a whole different situation, you know? So I'm just telling you guys what it is, but hey, I gotta run. I got orders that need to go off. Um, shout out to the hardworking women out there. Shout out to all you moms who are doing your thing. Um, I'm proud of you guys. That's what this live was about today. I'm proud of all you hardworking mothers out there. Keep doing everything you got to do and keep putting your kids first. And um, and then your, then your man's next. Okay, that's another thing. It's, it's your kids first and then your man. It could be your husband. It could be your baby daddy, it could be your boyfriend, kids first, and the man next, all right, got you, cool, we got that, right, all right, cool, so, um, other than that, I love you all tremendously, um, again, I hope I did not offend absolutely anybody in this live today, um, assistance, assistant living, assistant food stamps, all of that, I'm here for it, um, just don't knock hardworking women out there that have to go out and work hard to provide for their kids because they can't get those kind of things, I guess. I don't know. Um, I've never applied for it or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure I probably wouldn't qualify for it. But either way, um, you know, uh, don't knock women that got to go outside and work hard for their kids and their family to put food on the table. All right. Then there won't be no clapbacks out of my big mouth. Did y'all know my mouth is big? Okay. All right. And New York, I'll see you soon. Next week, we're in New York. It's a Zeus takeover. Um, shout out to Dan's Leather. We're going to hit your fashion show. We're going to gonna go crazy. The baddies, bad boys. We're going to walk in the fashion show for Fashion Week. And shout out to Connecticut. I will be in Connecticut the following Saturday. Not this Saturday. The flyer's on my page. The next Saturday, I'm hosting the club. It's a Zeus takeover. It's going to be lit. We all coming through. It's going to be fun. All right. I love you guys. Have a beautiful Thursday. And um, stay blessed and stay safe. Okay? Mwah. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.